hello and welcome to another video here on stacktop in today's video I'm going to answer what is an Ubuntu well it's definitely not a beaver or an anteater it's also not a device but instead it's a flavor of GNU slash Linux a GNU slash Linux is a free operating system available on the internet for some time now so there's a chance that you already heard about it if you haven't then I'm spreading the information that there are other operating systems out there that are available for you to install on your machine other than Windows or Mac OS and that's basically what Ubuntu is you can actually get Ubuntu for free all you got all you have to do is go to their website ubuntu.com and on the navigation bar click on download then select Ubuntu desktop scroll down then click on the download button on the right it'll then give you the latest image file of Ubuntu which is this ISO file right here download and save that to your computer and when you're done downloading if you go back to the page you can see that they left an instruction on how to install Ubuntu on your desktop or laptop it also says here that you can run Ubuntu from a USB to try it without installing in the Linux community that is known as running a live CD or running a live version of the operating system. That is possible because Linux is capable of running in the computer memory and I'm, I don't think that's possible in Windows at all. Anyways, click on the link and follow the instructions right here it'll just take you about 35 minutes to finish reading it of course you're, you'll be needing a laptop or PC with at least 25 gigabytes of storage space and an 8 gigabyte of flash drive where you're going to burn the image file that you downloaded alright so just follow the instructions and you're good to go what else can I say about Ubuntu aside from it being visually different from Windows it is also internally different because it uses a file system known as ext4 while Windows uses NTFS file system if I'm not mistaken you can install Ubuntu alongside Windows and that is called um, dual booting uh, and if you do that and boot on your Windows system you won't be able to see the Ubuntu partition inside of your Windows installation because it doesn't support ext4 file, ex file system so it doesn't recognize it however if you boot on Ubuntu you can actually mount the Windows partition because it supports NTFS file system okay so because of that you cannot install or run Windows applications in Linux or Ubuntu unless you install a an application called Wine but it is not gu guaranteed to run that application some applications run some Windows applications do run on Wine and some some don't so if you're thinking of 
using Ubuntu and running your using Ubuntu to run your Windows applications then you better not use Ubuntu at all and just stick to Windows because you'll just get disappointed um, other than that um, if we go to the home page of Ubuntu desktop and um, ubuntu.com slash desktop and um, click take a look you can do all the regular stuff that you do on a an operating system you can still Skype play your media or your music on VLC uh, listen to Spotify browse with Firefox chat on telegram and so you can do all those things all uh, web browsing email um, f look uh, taking a look at your photos organizing them watching HD videos gaming you can also do all those things in Ubuntu one thing I forgot to mention is that it also has its own office suite called LibreOffice and it's completely compatible with Microsoft Office. The shortcuts for the Office applications I removed from my favorites but if I click on the menu right here it'll show me all the applications that are available for me to open and the LibreOffice word processor is called Writer and this is it is the icon for that if I click on that you can see that it just works and functions like a ordinary word processor so you can type whatever here save it and print it that's all there is it so I hope you like this video and I recommend that you try Ubuntu try it out on your old laptop or a new computer because it's, it has a wide range of support for a wide range of devices okay so that's it that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching